Hey everybody, this is Kelly, Grow333. It's been a while, but um, I have not stopped working. Um, I think the thing that I'd like to talk about most... Um, oh, uh, I went to my primary physician uh, over the weekend. I've been having a lot of health issues. Um, I've gone to my dermatologist. Uh, I went to my primary to do a full blood work uh, to see what's wrong. Um, I don't need to get into the details. Something's off, very off. Um, but I did weigh in. Uh, I am four pounds up from what I weighed in November last time I saw him. Uh, not the end of the world, but definitely not going in the right direction. Honestly, this doesn't upset me that much. It's four pounds, and uh, I know that I can get that off, and I really need to work towards Wonderland. Um, so I got a little ways to go. Anyway, the thing that I really want to talk about most is um, I've been watching this woman that I found uh, on Facebook, and she's on YouTube, and um, you know, I watch a, I've watched a lot of things. I've been dieting my whole life, uh, like as I'm sure many of you can relate. And i got to say, I really like the things that she says. Uh, her name is Corinne Crabtree. Crap Crap -tree. Um, her thing is Fit and Fat. P-H-I-T-N Fat. P-H-A-T. Um, she's got a huge following... You know, uh, but I like what she has to say. Um, yes, she's foul mouthed, but that doesn't bother me. Um, I do like the things that she has to say, and really, I feel like um, she's been helping me. And of course, I don't interact with her, I just listen to her uh, vlogs, and um, she's got a Facebook page and stuff. Um, I just, I've really been addressing the mental game. And in some of the stuff that I've listened to, she talks about having to lose the weight mentally before you can lose the weight physically. And it's funny because, you know, I've heard her talk about how she knew when she lost this 100 pounds that she'd never have to lose it again because she had yo-yo dieted her whole life, you know. Again, I don't want to get into her. This, is, this vlog is really about me. Um, I've changed. I've changed a lot as an individual. Uh, I've grown and for the better. Um, it is not easy tackling the whole mental game and all that comes with it. We all carry a lot of baggage. Um, we all eat for many different reasons. There is a plethora of reasons. Um, but I'm finding things like I, I've gone back to um, writing down everything that I eat, like it or not, and if it goes in my mouth, I write it down. And I've also started writing down what time I eat it. You know, reviewing that I find interesting as well. Uh, I've gone back to asking myself, when I go to grab to eat something, am I really hungry? Why am I eating this? Uh, I know it's, it sounds very basic, but I got away from that. Um, Asking myself the questions, why am I eating this, and is this going to get get me where I want to be? You know, I love that um, when I listen to Corinne, she talks about not feeling guilty, not making yourself feel guilty, and not shaming yourself. And I never thought that I ever shamed myself, but I will admit I would eat something and then after feel this huge sense of guilt, like, why did I just do that? You know... She talks about a woman that she has, that she, she's a firm believer of writing your food plan 24 hours ahead of time, and that's all you eat, what's on the plan. You don't go outside your plan. And there's a woman that has lost 100 pounds or 50 pounds, whatever. She's lost a lot of weight um, with eating chocolate cake every single day. She put it on her plan. And, you know, to me, that makes a lot of sense. She... Um, I, I love that she also says, and, and we've all talked about before, is, um, you know, you lose weight in the kitchen, you get fit in the gym. You know, she says that you can't run from your fork. 
that if you're going to focus on anything, first focus on your diet and what goes in your mouth. For me, I have always been able to show up for myself physically. It is the diet, what goes in my mouth, that I have always struggled with. And once again, it's the mental game. So I am addressing things right now much more mentally and emotionally than I ever have. And physically, I'm there. Um, matter of fact, I'm, I'm uh, going to pole class for a month. Uh, we're doing some uh, thing with four, it's a, it's a one month um, thing that they're running and I've always wanted to go back. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back. I'm going to do it for the month of March. I'm excited about it and uh, I'm curious to see how different I feel. Um, I don't think I've been back to pole in three to four years now. So uh, there's been so many changes. Uh, I'm happy about it. Anyway, I'm going to get going. I don't want this to be too long. I just wanted to check in. Uh, I thank you all for the support that you've given me throughout the years. And I am continuing on my journey looking to make myself healthier in all the ways, emotionally, mentally, and physically. Thanks, guys.